Well, thank you all uh, once again for, for coming today. Um, it's been a long time since our last commemoration, all the way back in the middle of July, and I hope you've all uh, enjoyed the summer weather and the break that we've had. Now, there's been a reason uh, for that break. The, the British Army haven't really been involved in too much of the fighting uh, that's going on. But a fortnight ago, uh, they began the 100 days offensive that would, in the end, win us the war. And it started a new, very dangerous period for our soldiers. Uh, and so from now on, right till the end of the year, uh, these commemorations uh, are going to be coming quite thick and fast. As, uh, as we get to November and the armistice, of course, we then have the flu um, epidemic, which means that we've got something like 20 commemorations between now and our final service, which will be held on New Year's Eve. Now, today, uh, we're celebrating or commemorating the life of quite a flawed man. It's a, a, a reminder that we're, we're remembering these men as they were, uh, not as we'd perhaps like them to be. It's uh, quite appropriate today, uh, given what we're going to talk about, that uh, one of my young cousins has just completed her uh, national citizenship service. Um, and as part of that, they have to organize a fundraising event for a charity of their choice. Um, and they've happened to have chosen um, their local domestic violence uh, charity, Safe in Sussex. Now, normally we would ask for donations towards research, but if anyone would like to contribute today, they will be going to that charity, which would be very appropriate, uh, given the story that we're, we're going to hear. Now, uh, Gil, um, his, uh, he lived in, or his wife lived um, in Ferndale Road. 55 Ferndale Road is, is the address that he's commemorated at in, in the church's memorial book. Likelihood is he never lived there um, at all. His wife came here while, when he went away um, to serve in the army. But he did live in, in Burheath for a while, so there's, a, there's quite a strong um, local connection. Now, he met his death um, on the banks of the River Ankara. And so um, today's poem is going to be um, about that, that locality, written by, by Wilfred Owen. Um, he was inspired by a, a roadside crucifix um, which had uh, lost its arm by the banks of the River Ankara, which is very appropriate as well, because I don't know if you've been passing through the churchyard recently, but if you look at what we call the Garden Memorial, which is a figure of Jesus on the cross, um, which is the parish, one of the parish war memorials, it has recently lost its arm. Um, we have got the arm in safe custody, so don't worry. Um, and we're going to be working on, on restoring um, that at some point uh, uh, in the near future. So Jane is going to read the poem for us today. This is a poem called At the Calvary Near the Ankara by Wilfred Owen. One ever hangs where shelled roads part. In this war, he too lost a limb, but his disciples hide apart, and now the soldiers bear with him. Near Golgotha strolls many a priest, and in their faces there is pride that they were flesh marked by the beast by whom the gentle Christ denied. The scribes on all the people shove and bore allegiance to the state, but they who love the greater love lay down their life they do not hate. Thank you. Uh, we're now going to toll the bell a hundred times. Um,